pictures speak for themselves. The apparently unnecessary violence of an officer striking a woman in the crowd quickly prompted an independent investigation. Now Nicola Fisher, who was on the receiving end of that blow, has spoken of her shock at the way the police acted. I thought they were there to protect us. You know, that's, that's what I thought they were there for. And uh, from my experience of that day, they, they were there for a fight. The scuffles took place at a vigil in the city of London for Ian Tomlinson, who we now know died from internal bleeding moments after he was pushed over by a police officer. That officer has been questioned on suspicion of manslaughter. The Metropolitan Police is under increasing pressure. Two of its officers remain suspended and the Commissioner, Sir Paul Stevenson, has called in a government inspector to review and scrutinise the way the force deals with demonstrations. Can I have your number, please? OK, you know that it's an offence for you not to identify yourself, at least by your number. You don't have to give me your name, but you do have to give me your number. More and more footage is coming to light, suggesting officers were reluctant to identify themselves to protesters, something that's normally standard procedure. An MP who was an official observer of the protest said a number of worrying practices were in evidence. There were complaints about officers hiding their badges. It's clear from the photographic evidence that some officers were hiding their badges. And I can personally vouch for the fact that some of the officers were, were wearing balaclavas. I don't understand the purpose of police officers wearing balaclavas uh, when they're in the business of controlling a crowd. But many maintain there isn't a widespread problem with police tactics. I've watched the police dramatically improve in this city under very good leadership under the last four commissioners and I'm happy and confident that the police are an improving service in London, not a worsening one. It now seems ironic that in the aftermath of the protest, the police were pleased it had passed off with a relatively small number of arrests. <laughs> An operation that at the time might have looked to the Met like a success is now giving Scotland Yard a major headache. Laura Bundock, Sky News.